Hi there, I hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be talking about what could have been part of the Kyrie signature line. And this right here is the Anta Shockwave 6. So I think it's safe to say that the previous version, both the regular Shockwave 5 and Shockwave 5 Pro gained a lot of attention because of the Kyrie signing. Uh, from the brand's perspective, Anta was also really pushing out this line before they released the Kai 1. And those were all great shoes, which I really enjoyed. Now coming to the 6, this is the regular version by the way, there will be a Pro version again. Um, I don't even think I need to point this out, on um, this colorway especially, the design is full of Kyrie ingredients. Uh, the way this shoe performs also reminds me of one particular Nike Kyrie model. Anyways, price does depend on your location, just like many other hoop shoes from Chinese brands. I'll leave you a link to kicksown.com where you can get this pair for $119. That puts them at a pretty comfortable price range to me. They also have a few other colorways. Don't forget that you can use my personal code for a discount on any shoe that you order there. All right, let's get right into it. As to how the Shockwave 6 performs, cushion is decent. Decent at best, however. It's not like excellent. It is a full-length nitrogen missile, the flagship technology. However, it just feels a little bit stiffer than the same tech on their Kai-1 and the previous Shockwave 5. This is mostly because the foam is almost entirely caged by either TPU or a hard outer shell. At the very least, you do need to break it in for a while first. Core feel is excellent especially for guards. If you prefer a low to the ground setup, this definitely fits that description. Unlike the cushioning, which was okay this time, traction is excellent. Uh, almost any time you see this type of a uh, large herringbone pattern, you should be good to go. They're pretty squeaky. Performance is consistent on clean and dusty quartz. Dust pickup is not a problem, and they do feel very durable for outdoor use. This is something that they emphasize in their advertising, actually. Uh, they're calling it Duratrack, or Ultra Durable Rubber, something like that. Uh, it does feel pretty sturdy in hand, so I think they'll hold up just fine. With the fit, I went true to size. It is a snug fit, but it works perfectly fine and I feel like this was the best option. Anta basketball shoes have always been true to size for me. I just get my normal size in most other sneakers. For size 10 and a half, they measure to be around 385 grams for each shoe. Very light. You can feel the quickness in your steps wearing these. One, it's nice and breathable. Two, there's no excessive weight slowing you down on the court. Material isn't the soft and plush type, but it works. We'll take it. On the lateral side and on the heel, there's some TPU pieces guarding the missile, so it is pretty safe and secure. Maybe the most unique part about the design is that big extension piece on the missile uh, with some more TPU inside of it that kind of look like springs. It doesn't add more bounciness, nope, but it acts as an outrigger for lateral movements, and it serves as caging in a sense too. So functionality is there. One last detail is the laces. On this colorway, they use some rope laces. I really like the quality here, plus the elastic part inside. Together, you get great lockdown. If I was to do like a player comparison type of thing for this shoe, it reminds me of the Kyrie Low 5. Uh, it is more so a snug fit. Both shoes do need some break-in time at first. The material does break in nicely over time. And in both cases, you do have like a thin transparent netting. Yeah, there's nothing super impressive about this model, to be honest. But again, it's got no major downsides that could turn down a lot of players. Very Kyrie-like. Overall, I wouldn't say this has the elite status, but everything about the Shockwave 6 is decent. Uh, to compare these against last year's regular version, the Shockwave 5, I like these more, honestly. No pinching issue, even more Kyrie-like a very good guard shoe, in my opinion. What you can expect is basically Anta's take on a Kyrie Low, if that makes sense. But as always, I'd love to know what you think. Are we feeling these or not? Please let me know in the comments.
Thank you so much for watching, uh, and I'll see you soon. Uh, thanks, bye.